Hello everybody, welcome back to um, episode 2 of our uh, tutorial in Space Engineers, I'm Sir Wolf. Um, today we're going to be actually getting into timer blocks, you see them right there on the left. Um, now one thing about timer blocks, I will say, they can be placed anywhere on, on the ship or the station, or as long as it's connected to the object you want, you know, as long as it's on the, uh, on the same grid as the object, object or objects you want to do stuff with, you know, it's, it could be five kilometers away, but as long as it's still connected to the same grid, it will still activate whatever it is you're trying to activate. Um, today I've put together a, I hate to say simple, but a, um, I put together a kind of bit of an airlock. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it, and I'll show you, I'll show you this setup when we're done. Um, <clears throat> but let's say, you know, you, you just come home from work, you're, you know, you're a space astronaut dude, you just came home from work, and you're like, ah, I want to get into my house. I can see where I want to be from here, but I can't get in. Because if I open the door, you get hit with that. So let's go ahead, we'll close that up, and we'll let it repressurize real quick. Should be pretty pressurized. There we go. Alright, so you walk up. Now, I'm going to hit one button. Okay, this one button right here. It's going to depressurize, open this door, re uh, close the door, repressurize, and open the door at the far end, and I can actually get into my, my house. All right? So hit this one button. First, I'll show you what it looks like you know, as you, as you get ready to walk, th walk through and stuff like that. So we're depressurized. The door is open. See, in just a few seconds, I, I timed it so it gives you enough time. That will switch to pressurize. Do, do, do. And in a few seconds, this will slide right open. See? And here I am. And if you watch, when everything is done, it'll slide closed again. Now, I'm in my little house. You know, my, my spouse, my other half, my better half, the kids, whoever comes home. This door is now closed. I don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and we'll step back outside. I'm not going to bother depressurizing or anything. I'm playing on creative, so I have unlimited uh, oxygen. Whee! All right. Oops. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and wait for that to get pressurized. And it All right, looks like we're done. All right. And I'm going to show you what the timer blocks do. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wasn't sure how many I was going to need. It's good. We'll hit hit that button. Oh, maybe it's one, two. Never mind. But you can see each one. That's activated. Now that one's activated, and they flash with that yellow red. Each you know each time the the timer block is each timer block that's active will flash. You'll see it switch to that one, and it'll switch, I believe, to that one. Maybe it'll be done. Okay, well. Anyway, as you can see, it doesn't matter what order the timer blocks sit in, but there is a uh, there is an airlock, and I will show you real quick. Um, obviously, this isn't going to win any awards for prettiness, but um, I've got an oxygen tank and an oxygen generator. Um, and I think I just have yeah, I just have an oxygen tank back here. Um, for this is the um, the tank and the uh, air vent for for the room. This is the tank air vent, and I threw an oxygen generator on there out of habit. I'm used to playing on survival. Um, for our airlock. Now I'll go ahead and I'll show you the setup I've got for our timer blocks, and we'll start. I've got them set in order, you know, sequenced. So. Uh, timer block one, you can see there are different actions. There's setup actions, that's pretty uh, pretty obvious. That's, you know, what ones you want to do, uh, you know, what actions you want to accomplish. And it will say, anything placed in the toolbar, no matter what the toolbar, any action that this particular timer block has to do, it will activate when the timer block activates. So you could have this one activate five other timer blocks and have their have them set to, you know, however long you need them to delay and stuff like that if you want to do it that way. 
I do them in sequence personally, but you know, you'll find situations where you have to build a giant flowchart. I have done it. All right, so we've got setup actions, we've got trigger now, which does exactly that. I mean, I could have this thing set to delay to a whole an entire hour. If I hit start, you'll see time to trigger. It will delay in one hour. If I hit trigger now, it'll just trigger now, and you'll see up here in the corner any second now, this door will open as the sequence starts. See? Sequence starts. In a few seconds, it'll close. It'll pressurize, and the whole thing will go through. Um start is is pretty obvious I think I yeah I just hit that one start we'll tell it to start its countdown and stop we'll tell it to just stop the countdown take no action so we're going to set up actions now I've got I've got the um, action set up this first one when you hit the button it triggers the way I've got this set up when you hit that the button it triggers timer block the first timer block it triggers it now I don't have it I just I will have the delay set way down just in case I, I mess something up in this case but it's it's set to trigger now so the moment I hit the button timer block one triggers and as soon as timer block one triggers it starts the depressurization process and as it does it goes ahead and starts it starts the timer it doesn't trigger it starts the timer for timer block two timer block two is delayed five seconds. That gives time for the air to, for for the, the airlock to depressurize. Then it opens the sliding door. You can have either door if you want. You don't have to have door. You can do whichever door you want. I just use a sliding door and the and the regular door just out of ease in this case, just to kind of show you guys. Although honestly, prefer, I prefer the sliding doors. I just I think they're cooler. But it goes ahead and it opens the sliding door, that's the door right in front of us, and triggers timer block three. Sorry, that doesn't trigger, it starts. It starts timer block three, it does not trigger, it starts. Timer block three, again, is delayed on five seconds, and the actions are it will close the door and start the timer for timer block four. I have the five seconds so that you can hit the button, you wait, you can walk through it. If you've got a few people, a couple people can make it through before it closes on you. But then it starts the timer block, uh, the timer for timer block four. Timer block four is, del four is delayed two seconds. Literally, that's just enough time for the door to close. As soon as the doors are closed, uh, timer block four, timer block four starts the repressurization. Now, in order to do this, it doesn't have depressurize and repressurize. It has depressurize on, depressurize off. By default, air vents are set to pressurize. If you set depressurize on, it will then suck the air out. Whether you're trying to depressurize a, a room or an airlock or you're on a planet and you're trying to suck up air. If it's an oxygen atmosphere, you can suck the air in. Either way, basically suck and blow. Pressurize is blow, depressurize is, is inhale. So it's set to depressurize off, which then which will then cause the uh, air vent to expel air. It'll blow the air out. Repressurize, repressurizing the air vent and starting timer block five. Timer block five is set to five seconds to give everything a chance to give the air the the airlock a chance to pressurize. It then opens the sliding door or the, the the regular door at the far end. It opens it. Honestly, you could open it on your own, but I do I like doing it this way just so that I don't open a door and get blown into the room or something or you know this way I kind of know everything is pressurized it's this is a personal thing and it, I just kind of wanted to show you guys an entire you know a whole long sequence so it opens the door and triggers timer block six or starts the timer block six timer which is set to five seconds so that you can walk through and like I said you can set this anywhere between one second and one hour um, but it it goes through it'll set up so you can go through the door into into your ship, into your base, into your whatever pressurized room you've got on the other side. And then it's set to just close, and that's the end of the sequence. Now, I could, honestly, I could set this up to then start the timer for timer block one and just have a giant loop if I wanted to. Um, but I, there's no need to in this particular case. Um, but that's how, that's how you set up a simple... A fairly simple timer block sequence. Um, you've got 
type of lock on and off, show block on terminal, toolbar configuration, your name, show on HUD if you want to actually be able to see it, but you must have an active antenna. Uh, custom data, um, this is to be used by scripts and mods, as it says, I don't really use scripts, it's the whole point of using a timer block, I don't need scripts. Uh, silent, normally they beep when each one is activated, but you can turn it off. Got your delay, setup actions, trigger, start, start, or trigger now, start, and stop. Um, so that's your basic, that's, that's basically your timer block. That's kind of all you need to know. And the hard part, honestly, with timer blocks is just setting them up so that, you know, you get them in the right order. You Each thing triggers when you want it to trigger. And we'll kind of get into that, and I'll show you um, maybe in the next episode or something uh, how to how to set up a um, a flowchart, you know, where you've got one set of actions happening, then another set of actions happening parallel to it that rejoin the original or you know what have you. I'll, I'll kind of show you how to how to do some of this stuff. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. You know. Send me send me a message. Hit me up on Twitter. Whatever you guys want to do, however you guys want to do it, get a hold of me. I if I if I've gone a little too quickly, I'm kind of, kind of trying to cut down the the time time of my videos. If I've gone too quickly, let me know. Say hey, you move too quickly. Hey, I don't understand this. Let me know. So I will see you guys again in the next episode. I'll see you again very soon. I'll go ahead and trigger this one more time just because I really like it. Um, but I'll see you guys again very uh very soon in episode three thank you for joining me on space engineers this has been sir wolf with black wolf gaming and i'll see you again very soon